G'day guys and welcome to Upgrade 4x4. On today's episode we'll be going to High Country Victoria Dargo where we see breathtaking views mixed in with some forward driving and some cooking segments with our guest Erin. Unfortunately we arrived late to our campsite so we don't have any footage but we will start off the video with some cooking. Grab yourself a cold one, sit back and enjoy the show. Hey guys welcome to another episode of Upgrade 4x4. Alright, today we've got Erin cooking us a breakfast. What are you cooking for us today, Aaron? Sujuk and eggs, mate. Sujuk and eggs. Sujuk, and Sujuk eggs. is another, uh, it's, it's, it's a different. Turkish um, different. salami, you could say. Sausage. Sausage, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so what he's doing now is putting all the, uh, the sujuk in the pan. You want to talk us through why are you doing that? Oh, I just want to cook these out a little bit. Once they're cooked out, I chuck the egg on them. And we've got a nice traditional Turkish breakfast for us. Oh, there you go. So, he's going to first give this a little turn, cook these, or pre-cook them, and then add the egg to it, which is very simple. Um, so if you need um, a, a nice quick way, a, a quick breakfast that you want to have a nice healthy um, bit of protein, this is the best way to go. Uh, the sushi does have a lot of garlic in it though, <laughs> which kills us all. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's chilly. So yeah, so put a, put a bit of butter in there, I guess. Flavor. Extra flavor, you know what helps I mean? It, it helps it uh, fry, I guess, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Now you can see it bubbling, as you can see there. Now, whenever you see them bubbling like that, is when you actually you to turn over. So you would flip over, like so, and you can see like that. A little on that side, and once that's done like that, it doesn't take too long. You'll probably need it to do it for about how long? Oh, maybe a good three, four minutes. Three, four minutes, and then flip it over. Oh, sorry, and then add the egg, I guess. Yep. Yep. And, and we don't, right we don't even have the eggs ready yet. So oh, the eggs while ready. he's getting the eggs, I'll flip these over. How's How the it smell? Good? It smells like sujuk. <laughs> <laughs> very garlic. Oh, very garlic. A lot of garlic. There you can see there. Stop flipping around. Get that butter around there as well. Oh, that looks delicious. All right. There we go, like that. I'm not a chef, but you don't need to be a chef to make this. Uh, let's take it around. 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 let Time to crack the eggs. No special way of doing the eggs. Just crack them and chuck them in there. So where are we this morning? We are in Dago. Uh, high country. We thought we'll do a bit of camping, get away. Uh, something different. We are doing Four wheel driving plus camping this time, so which is something that we always wanted to do for a while. We haven't been able to do it for a long time, um, so we thought we'd take this opportunity, come outside and do it. And um, Aaron was nice enough to come along with us today. He said, "You need to charge my sujuk and eggs." So here's the sujuk and eggs. <laughs> so his family tree is all chefs, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Normal facilities, you will probably have a bigger pan if you did have it. Um, be nice. It will be nice. Um, but it doesn't stop Aaron from cooking. He'll cook it in a mug if you gave him the opportunity. Put in there. <laughs> now at this point, you put, if you say how many eggs, it's, it's up to you. Pretty much. Um, so you can put, I don't know, depending on the size, how many people you got Pretty as much. well. Some people like it with a lot of eggs, some people like it with a little, little, little bit of eggs and more sujuk. Uh, personally, uh, sujuk's got, it's got a lot of garlic in it. Um, I don't like it too much, it starts giving me all this little uh, bullshit shit in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, it's a very nice dish. And the way Evan's going, it doesn't look like he's going to stop breaking these eggs. One more, one more. <laughs> I'll get excited. 
There's six big boys no, here. We're hungry. Let me talk <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> now you'll only see him this excited when it's cooking, not when he's working. <laughs> not wrong there, bro. I didn't know he worked. Uh, Josh, can I get that gas changed? Alright, there you go. <laughs> that one needs to be changed a lot. Uh, we'll quickly change the gas over. For those of you that don't know what this is, which is yes. not strange, put the gas ball in there, close that down, do that, and then a nice click. And it's on. So, so those of you that are watching overseas and you don't have this, very, very nice very little unit oh, yeah. for cooking, camping yeah. at any point. See? Um, while he's doing that, just a little bit of a rundown on last night. Um, I stuffed up when I was sleeping. I thought it was He-Man and I uh, decided not to use my uh, sleeping bag. Therefore, I was frozen when I woke up. Um, so I couldn't... Hot water over into the <laughs> yeah, literally. Ice age. So I couldn't feel my feet, my back, my nose <coughs> or anything like that. Um, so I know not to do that tonight. I'll make sure that I'm nice and warm. I made sure my son was fine. He woke up sweating and I woke up fro three, uh, freezing, so you can't win. Yeah. Alright, as you can see, that's what it turns out to be like. A little bit more. Fantastic. Aaron, you want to take over? Or let's give this a nice mix. There you go. Now, a lot of people can use this sujuk in a different way. They just cook it, put it in any type of bread that you like, any type of seasoning that you want on top of that. And has it have it like like it's a sandwich or something in a roll or something? Look, oh, that's nice. Um, I sometimes well, this is a pre-cut one. Normally they come in a long, long, like a normal salami. I like cutting it in like lengths of probably about 100. Cut it in half, open it up, and when you chuck that on a barbecue, and then get your vignette at the underbread. Um, put that in there, and all the nice juicy oil and everything that comes with it. Um, nice hot tea or tomatoes next to it. Now this is a bit of a, tomatoes are too expensive these days, so we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> also so, cheese is good on them too. Yeah. Make it like an omelette. Now I'm, you guys start on this one. Doing this, but I think I'm burning it. Okay, I want to turn this down. That's better. There you go. Now, I'm not a chef, so don't look at me the way I'm doing this. You're doing well, mate. You're doing well. All right, so this is almost done. Just a bit more, a couple more turns. I personally like it this way. Let's see, runny. Nice. Yeah, runny. Kind Some people right. don't like it. I want to add a bit more butter into that. Alright, you want to get more butterish. Have you got a mushroom or something? You can never go wrong with too much butter. Mushroom. So, where do you normally go when you go camping? Oh, spoon or something. So, so we can load the more time there. To where? Tarawu. I'd normally do that way. Yep. Or down to the Murray. Yep. We get a chance. For a good long weekend. Yep, yep. I'm going to go to Tarawu. Huh? I've got some. Now, Aaron goes a different form. He does have a swag, but this time around he brought his little tent along, which we'll show you later on. Which is, I reckon, a pretty nice little unit. Good little setup, what I got. Yep. Now, Aaron's been camping for years and years. Oh, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. You reckon that's done? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If you want, if you want to water it like that, well, pretty good. It doesn't really matter. That's it, mate. Is it actually going to I just turned it down. I just turned it down. It was turning yeah. the bottom. So, oh, yeah. So that's the pre-rolled one. <laughs> Tomorrow we've got the men on the menu, right? Tomorrow we've got men, -men which is many men. Eggs again, because we've got so many eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Literally so many eggs. They got six dozens of eggs. We calculated two dozen a day every morning. Pretty much. Uh, but you gotta think how many of us there are. Is there six how many or six of us? Yeah. So There's gonna be seven tomorrow. There's going to be seven tomorrow. Huss is coming along as well. Um, yeah, so this is done. Oh, Alright, so this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. 
Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Now, we don't have a plate. What's on I'll put it on there. I'll put it on the same one. Yeah. And I'll cook some more food to come back if you want to. All righty. So, add that today. That. <laughs> Can't even speak. I'm so cold. All right. So, that's in like that. Beautiful. Some might think there's too much eggs. We might think there's not enough. Do you want me to make this more sujuk? I'm good, sujuk. Hmm? No, I'm good. Uh, if we think we got too much, go through too much eggs, we'll tell us to get another <laughs> couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was uh, even going to boil some for the road. <laughs> if he's wanted, you know? You want more butter in that? Oh, yeah. I want a heart attack this weekend. You have no choice. <laughs> That's all we're going to have. <laughs> now, Aaron doesn't have a limit. Did anyone mm. else bring butter? Huh? No, I'll go get some from the thing now. No, I'm saying is that that's not going to be enough. Is oh it? no, that should be. Shitload of butter. We can preserve it if we really want Shitload, to. Shitload, bro. I don't know. G'day guys, hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. Um, ho hopefully a cold one's gone good with this video. Now once again I'm going to say the atmosphere of Dargo is insane. It's like a, a wannabe place. It's you have to go once in a lifetime. It's sick. Uh, but we've got a river crossing to worry about. The boys are going in the order of the boats, average car, boat, and another boat. <laughs> Enjoy this. Is I was trying to take care of the car so I don't break anything, but you're just going bang. 
What with this one or the GU? Both. The sound of the engine brake is so much fucking easy on this. Change cars. Alrighty, we had made it to our campsite, we were going to get wood, we started a fire, we all set up our swags, um, Aaron had his tent as we said before, as you can see on the right, um, we had just settled in, it's a perfect night to fall asleep, um, what had happened later will and might shock you. Uh, last night we had a storm, um, these gazebos, I'm not gazebos, these awnings are very weak when it comes to structure um, and yeah when you put them that way is when all the water just builds up in the middle and it collapses I'll show you why anyway how, what happens see that one you can see how the that one there is bowed completely um, and if you don't look after it properly like Rick's one it snaps off I was, I woke up at like, like so, I so you had to modify like, it with, with like, <laughs> duct tape and put a stick on it to keep it up. And then, like, <laughs> then you have the gazebo uh, destroyed from all the weight of the water. What happened? And we also had a problem with this one. Where's the chainsaw? So we had to make sure they're all leaning on one side to get the water out during the night. Um, and yeah, so that's the uh, situation at the moment. So when you're putting your awnings up, make sure you put them on the angles like that and like this, so the water doesn't build up in the middle. Besides that, that's what it is. Good morning after a crazy night. Um, a lot of things happened, which we'll mention later on. Um, had a bit of a storm too last night. Uh, got a few uh, swags wet inside because of the structure of the actual awnings that we had it. Um, we didn't put it on an angle, which we should have. We didn't expect it to rain, but it did. Um, so, you know, in the middle of the night, I didn't do it. Rick ended up doing it. Um, but, yeah, he ended up fixing the, the awnings to the positions they should be on. Anyway, we're here now, waking up, ready to eat again for breakfast. We've got Aaron again cooking us a storm. What you got? What you got there now? Got some sausages at the moment, but we're gonna put some sujuk in here too. A bit of onion, a bit of tomato. So whatever we got, might make a bit of a mountain man breakfast. There you go. Can't go wrong. Should be nice and hearty for today. Yeah, everyone needs a bit of energy. Um, yeah. Seeing that we didn't uh, stop for lunch yesterday, and um, the breakfast we had was awesome, but it wasn't enough to obviously keep us going throughout the whole day. And by the time we found the campsite the night, um, that, uh, last night. It took a while. Therefore, myself <laughs> got into a bit of trouble where I've lost um, energy, strength, everything else. Um, so I ended up passing out, apparently. Uh, so the boys <laughs> the boys helped me out, woke me up a bit, gave me some something to eat. So I put myself back together this morning. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we have lunch today. Now, the more the story, have lunch. Oh, yeah. we so we're gonna have yeah. sausages for lunch uh, today. And then uh, cook up something more barbecue tomorrow night. Oh, sorry, most tonight. likely, tonight? most likely yeah. Yeah, barbecue tonight. All right, we'll have that again tonight. Hus was um, meant to meet us last night, um, but the, unfortunately we had no reception, and the uh, the radios we couldn't get didn't have a long enough range. Uh, we heard them for a, a split second, but then um, obviously because we we're in the mountains, it was pretty hard to get any kind of uh, message out to him to see where we were or to even pinpoint our location because there was no reception. Um, so this morning, uh, they done ended up jumping in his car, going down the road to get some reception. We found out where he was. He's at the Dargo pub, so we're going to meet up with him at the end of uh, the Crooked Track. Uh, Crooked Track. Crooked, uh, yeah, Crooked River. Um, hopefully we'll meet up with him there. We'll do a bit of a four-wheel drive uh, session. And then um, trying to find a nice right. camping spot. This time, not being so late, hopefully. Um, so we'll get to set up much much uh, better and try to fix some of these awnings because they're all broke. Um, and yeah, so anyway, this is what it's looking like. Aaron? Yep, it's nearly there. Don't be a pig, bro. Looks like they want to feed me. 
So you're just going to have the sausages and stuff here? So no, gonna... I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put some tomato. There. I'm going to cook up the sujuk now. Uh, and then put the tomato and stuff in. You're letting them reduce now? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then reduce a little bit more. Yeah. And then we'll add the eggs into it and then... Now this is um, a bush style melemen. Melemen is a Turkish dish much. that we normally have. <laughs> you can add this to whatever bush. ingredients you want in there. But the tomatoes, you've got to have the tomatoes in the main ingredient. Then you have the sausages and your um, some have onions in there which we don't have. We don't have onions, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that's a right. Anyway. Tomorrow's um, breakfast. Go ahead, tomorrow. <laughs> and then literally you've got to add the eggs in there. You can have you can have chives, you can have pasta, you can have whatever you want in there. So it's just make your fat, uh, taste buds. Roll it up and enjoy it. You can have it with tea or drink if you like. Have it with a beer. Doesn't worry me. But it tastes fantastic, so try it. Very simple. Um, like I said, you can add any type of ingredients that you want in it. Um, we like chili as well, so we can probably put chili in there. Is it chili in there? No, I'm saying you can add chili in there, which we will. Yeah, 100%. So, we had just finished eating, and now we're on our way to our next campsite. I just want to remind you guys that after every single campsite that you stay at, make sure to clean up all your rubbish. Don't leave anything behind shove it in your car because it's just respectful for the next people that come by.
morning guys, this is uh, bottom of Blue Rag. Uh, we come up from all this high country, mountains, through that track, through this little river crossing. Uh, up this, uh, doesn't look as bad on the camera, but it, it is pretty uh, weird to get up. We'll see more footage of the, uh, the cars coming up. Now, uh, where are we camping? After we drive a little bit right here, as you can see, some of the tents. So this is where we start. This is the little camping area we found. Beautiful place. Right next to the river. Bertie, how you going buddy? Fucking marvellous mate, beautiful, how are you? Good mate, have a nice sleep. Beautiful, sleep better than the night before. Well, there you go. Alright. Um, so yeah, he's just packing up his swag. We're about to head back up the hill again. This is Rick's little setup today. Got Aaron cooking his <laughs> main breakfast, breakfast again. <laughs> <laughs> and found a little fireplace here which had us going all night. Got Huss with us this morning. How are you Huss? Huss. Good mate, how are you? Good mate. How was your night? Beautiful. Can't complain. There you go. He was meant to join us last night but unfortunately we, we couldn't find each other. Um, but he was good enough to stick around and wait for us till morning. He camped somewhere else at um, Dargo Hotel. This is our little setup. I'll show you Huss's setup. It's got a rooftop tent. There you go. And his uh, GU Patrol chopped, uh, which was the next cop car. Fantastic little unit. It goes up any little rut that you want. Uh, and yeah, this is a beautiful river crossing. And Volks, as usual. Last night he decided to sleep with um, Aaron in his tent because uh, his swag was not uh, performing the way he should. He's got a nice little setup as well. And it was just very nice to sleep with the sound of the river um, and also waking up to the sound of the river. Yes, it makes you want to go to the toilet, but it's all good. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much how we were set up. Fantastic. And I'll talk to you soon. Coming. Actually, where we where we parked last, I'm gonna reverse a bit. Turn your red light on, that's so people can see you. Or just ignore me. The bike coming down, I've got my headlights on.
How's it going guys? Hope you enjoyed this video. We had an absolute blast filming this. I just want to say if you're wanting to go to where we went, make sure to have a suited four-wheel drive for it. It has a snorkel and etc. Absolutely everything. So it's capable and you're more safe. Thank you so much for watching once again. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever we upload these videos. Thank you very much and have a good night.